Hallo Comic-Fans, hier ist Al Grey, cheers. Mm. Since I began re to read um, comics more frequently in, in comic book form, in floppy form, the question always occurred after collecting a whole run or so, uh, what should I do with this stuff? I mean, I don't like short boxes or long boxes too much, uh, not the, the plastic bags. Um, The solution uh, to put a whole run like the Green, um, Grand Morrison Green Lantern run, which exactly fit, fits in that here uh, thing there, is okay. It's it's a good solution, but not fantastic. Um, sometimes I even decorate these IKEA stuff here. They have the um, advantage that you can put different uh, books of different sizes into them. So that's. Uh, really great as you can see over there um, but otherwise uh, to create some flimsy slipcase out of cardboard um, just thick enough to still fit through my uh, inkjet um, printer that's not it's a bit a sad affair um, fortunately i came across a fantastic uh, tutorial video uh, by um, my comic friend, YouTube friend, Carsten, aka The Referent, uh, who did a, almost a one hour video uh, in which he explained how to do solid wooden slipcases pretty easily. I mean, um, I won't do a same tutorial <laughs> like him. I guess even if you don't understand uh, German, just look what he's doing there uh, and some things really were a revelation to me um, especially that you when you use this thin plywood three millimeters are totally uh, okay uh, you can cut these with these cutters um, i mean wallpaper cutters or however you you call them be careful uh, i don't wear this thing uh, for for no reason. Uh, uh, don't just say so. Don't listen to loud punk rock while doing this stuff here. It can be dangerous. So one of the reasons why I actually shy away to do a t um, tutorial because I don't want to be blamed when someone uh, has a limp missing afterwards but really it's it's not very difficult uh, especially when you can get a hold of uh, this kind of ruler i don't actually even know the german word for uh, a thing like this i this was in the stash of my um, late uh, father-in-law uh, but it helps you oh this thing is really dirty here but you can see i've worked on it on this um, uh, pane here and uh, so you can put this right there and you have always your right angle there which is really helpful um, and yeah the most problematic thing here is still uh, getting the uh, knife across the plywood uh, you have to apply some pressure but it's really possible especially when you cut uh, When you have cut it on one side, you turn it around and then uh, on the other side. So that's a bit easier, I figured, uh, than to try to go, go the whole way from one side. And otherwise you need um, white glue, wood glue, uh, really in masses. I mean, uh, you really have to pour uh, stuff, stuff in a cup or, or something like this. Use uh, cheap white glue. It's transparent, it's a uh, solu uh, solv it can be uh, saluted by water, you can cleanse it off with water. Uh, so actually even if the whole process was a bit messy, at least in my terms, uh, no problem. And, and the results like I will show you in a second uh, will turn out pretty okay I, I feel and I got a second uh, bit more expensive um, white glue uh, who hardens in five minutes so this was a bit more expensive but it was worth it because um, when you put these boards together um, 
you just have to wait five minutes and then you can go on. And quite frankly, you can put the stuff um, here uh, together, these plywood uh, boards like Lego almost. I'm, as you can see here, I'm not so precious that I really care for, sm uh, too much care for real smooth edges. I mean, uh, that's uh, Carsten, he's really the monster of uh, suit uh, slipcase making. Uh, he covers everything up with wallpapers and, and stuff and uh, takes this time while I really wanted to put as much floppies in, in these kind of things here. And this looks amazing, don't you think? Um, this is just uh, printed out with my inkjet printer. Um, did this thing here with Photoshop um, from the back. Ah, here you can see my vol uh, Criminal Volume 3 by uh, Brubeck and Phillips, of course, is uh, collected in this year. And it looks amazing uh, besides uh, Criminal Volume and Criminal... Uh, Criminal 1, Volume 1, and Criminal Volume 2, which I have as hardbacks. Um, looks different, but it should be, because it is a different experience to enjoy uh, these stories in these comic books. I, I totally uh, have got this, uh, or understand this, um, and this is the reason why I don't do some custom binding. I wouldn't do so, because then I had all these disadvantages of reading the stuff in a big book. You have a heavy book, you have um, gutter laws and all that kind. I'm actually looking for uh, the art that I... Here. You see, this is the art that I scanned for the spine here and just uh, magnified this thing here and turned it around. So, yeah. And here you can see maybe inside the box. It doesn't really have to be perfect. Uh, if you miss the stuff uh, for a half millimeter or so, uh, it's not too too much of a problem since you can uh, paste um, paper on it. And you have to really... Um, Put a lot of wood glue, white, drew, uh, white glue on the back of the paper or on the box and um, press it. Uh, I, I just use the palm of my hands, which is maybe uh, the reason why I got some um, waves in it, but I guess they vanished in the meantime. So this looks pretty. And I really like the simple look here. Uh, one of the first things here I did was uh, this thing here for Supergirl because I honestly don't care too much for the series but I really like the art and the presentation enough um, to build this kind here of slipcase but it's just the exact amount of space to put these things in there. Pretty the same deal with Stellar, a series that I've enjoyed uh, two or three years ago. Or with Murder Falcon. And uh, since Murder Falcon was uh, written and uh, drawn by Daniel Warren Johnson um, and colored by Mike Spicer, and the same creative team has done this series as well, I put them together in one box. You can see here, this is a Murder Falcon and this is Better Ray Bill. Yeah, yeah always, yeah, that's always the question in which direction you put these stuff here. Maybe the other way around would be more logical. Ah, and of course, my favorite series, my favorite comic of the last series was Rain Like Hammers, and I did a pretty simple, but I thought pretty effectful box for this series here. Um, because the cover for this issue, one, um, 
really suggests that you do a split up on that line there. So yeah, just erased uh, this stuff here and went for a more simple look with this slipcase here. I really think that's neat. It's uh, just fantastic. I, I fooled around so so much with uh, different cardboard boxes. I spent time in a supermarket trying to get there has to be some kind of cornflakes uh, package with the exact amount of uh, uh, the, the exact size for my comic books. But no, somehow always the odds were against me, the gods <laughs> or however. And of course here the crown jewel or some, one of the crown jewels of my collection here, the complete Zap comics. So and this was a bit of a yeah, somehow a challenge because they all don't Always, uh, they they uh, are not um, all of the same size here, but I found some uh, original art on the internet here to print it out for Zap number eight, obviously Robert Crumb. Some spine art by Victor Moscoso. And uh, this obviously I stretched with Photoshop that it uh, fine, um, fits neatly on the spine here and some fake ad here they did for, I guess, shoe one, don't know. But yeah, I, Carsten aka the Reverend would totally glued a wallpaper or some stuff over it. But yeah, I'm, I'm as I said it, I'm fine with it. But uh, yeah, and then then <laughs> I thought, hey, uh, why not put uh, build proper um, boxed sets for my trade paperbacks or at least some of them? And I started with this one here because Doom Patrol by Grant Morrison is just my favorite thing. Oh, kill! Uh, don't kill your books while presenting them on the cam here. Um, but Doom Patrol by Grant Morrison is probably one of my favorite series in the world, uh, at least when it comes to American comics. And you can see they all six trade paperbacks fit nicely in this box here. And you can see here that they are not, this box here is not perfect by any means, but Overall, I'm pretty glad how it turned out to be with the spine here. With fantastic Brian Bolland art. And Richard Case uh, panels that I used for this one here and on top of it. So, yeah. <laughs> and of, uh, this was I guess the only instance uh, in which I used colored paper to make a first wraparound over all the case here. And staying with Grant Morrison, I mean, <laughs> I haven't bought uh, one of these um, omnibuses because, yeah, I have the trade paperbacks. And honestly, I really prefer them to read them in this way in smaller chunks because uh, the invisibles are pretty dense read and just the um, the very thought of it, uh, holding the whole omnibus uh, several hours in my hands I mean I'm get getting tired just, just by the very thought of it so this I really love this presentation especially when you get um, these covers here by Brian Bolland. Um, yeah, and again, I mean, I measured this. You have to be careful with your measures and with your thinking, how uh, so that you don't wind up uh, having not enough space. Here, it was a bit cl <laughs> close call, to be honest with you, and I had to separate these borders and to glue them uh, again together because uh, they didn't fit. Uh, really the first time so but now I'm very happy how this thing here turns out 
So the next thing here is maybe a bit of an acquired taste, but I really love the 60s Wonder Woman drawn at least for the very most part by Mike Sikorsky. Um, and yeah, it's one of my favorite uh, Wonder Woman runs along with um, the Azzarello run and of course the early uh, Golden Age Wonder Woman. I, I really love this uh, series and I love these uh, trade paperbacks and um, I wouldn't trade them for the this absolute, uh, no, the, uh, this omnibus edition that came out last year or so. so. Okay, only two things to go. And yeah, um, that's this one here. And Brandon Grahams and a lot of other people like um, Farrell Dalrymple, uh, which graces here the spine. Um, they did a new version or a new take on Prophet. And here are, here's the slipcase for all the five trade paperbacks. And as you can see here, you don't have to be too precious with these boxes. They are pretty solid. Uh, last of these box sets, uh, box sets is Transmetropolitan, uh, written by Warren Ellis. Maybe one of the best written uh, comics ever, I really feel. Uh, politic, at least when you think of um, political comics. Uh, it's a fantastic series. I don't care so much for the art as I do for the writing, which was the reason why I didn't bought uh, the Absolute Editions. And now I'm really glad so I could, uh, could build my own um, slipcase or box set uh, with um, Jaime Hernandez art on it, on the front and on the back here. Uh, just glued white paper on the top. As I figured out after building the box, uh, this one here could have been a bit tighter. So here's a bit too much space, but hey, maybe I find some extra material that I can uh, put in this slipcase here as well. So now I'm done. Beautiful thing. So finally, here's the whole shebang that I tinkered together. Um, and I have to say, I'm quite pleased with the outcome. So uh, yeah, again, thanks uh, to Carsten for his amazing video. Very inspiring, obviously. And uh, yeah, be careful. <laughs> Thumbs up. Um, thanks for listening and watching. Goodbye.